and welcome back to my channel Anshika Goel Illustrator and it's time to level up your illustrations. So previously we have studied about the texture of puffer jacket. Now we are going to illustrate that puffer jacket in this part too. Before watching this must watch my part one of this puffer jacket for better clarity. And let's start over here. I have already drawn the line art for the puffer jacket in which as I said and explained in my previous video we have to make the shine area as well. So here you can see uh, I am leaving the shine area as it is without doing the base coat and then doing the base coat of blue and smudging it with wet brush. After that taking darker shade of blue and applying in some areas to show my folds. Whoever haven't seen my video, the part one of puffer jacket in which I have explained the procedure of illustration as well as the texture of it, please watch it right now before watching this video. The concept will be uh, not clear if you will not watch my first video about puffer jackets and its texture. So make sure that you all guys should watch that video and then watch this one for the illustration part. So I'm adding the darker shade of blue and then adding black touch over that. And you can see I'm only adding the black touch. I'm not making it all black. So you, I'm drawing some shine areas. I've explained this in my video that how to show the shine areas. So this happens because of the stitching, that quilting texture that we uh, that the puffer jacket has. So that create this kind of shine and texture as well as the folds. So we have to make it this way. And wherever we are just uh, drawing this shine, we don't have to do the base coat over that area. So do the base coat leaving all the shine areas. Do it all over the jacket. Lighter shade of blue for the base coat and darker for the fold renderings. Also do not forget to draw small detailings like zippers, button, uh, stitch, armhole etc. So once it is done smudge it with wet brush you, the, you can see there is not much water in the brush it's just wet so we have to apply it over the base coat so that the stagglers will get smudged easily and we will get the smooth texture you can see the difference where we have applied the brush and where we have not so this is the texture we want that smoothness we want now with the darker shade of blue give detailings like this you have to assume the shadow falling be, uh, uh, under the collar as well as the shadow fallings in the armpit and wherever uh, you have to observe it looking some reference picture so here I'm assuming all my shadows as well as the fold area and in my previous video I have explained this very well that how it appears where the fold lines appear much and where you have to add the shadows so that's why it is important to watch the part one of this video So wherever I'm adding my folds with darker shade of blue, there I'm adding black touches to give some shadow effects. And if the shadow effect comes very well, then only our shine effect can look good. So they are correlated with each other. If the shadow will look good, then the shine will come well. So make sure that you give proper detailings of shadow as well as the highlights, the brightness. So I'm randomly just putting some four lines 
leaving the zipper part as it is and adding the black touch over that and the white part is also left uh, without base coat you can see the white part is clearly visible I haven't touched that with any color in fact even not in smudging so we have to repeat the same technique and procedure all over the jacket the same way we have to create fold especially we have to add the darker shade of blue in each side of our white shine so wherever we have left this white area, we have to add our dark, darker blue shade over there in the sides of there. The sleeves are done now coming onto the bodice area repeat the same technique and wherever there are stitch lines show that with a darker blue shade and smudge it carefully. So repeat the same thing in the left and the right portion of our jacket. giving up the fold lines remember wherever there is stitch line as well as the white line give more and more folds over that part because in puffer jacket if you observe any of the jacket you can see there are lots and lots of folds arising over the stitching part so wherever there is a quilting pattern you can see a lot of folds are arising from that part only. So you can see the, uh, the jacket is dividing in sections with a stitch. So in each section near the stitch you have to add those four lines and then add the black touch to depict shadow. So here the left panel is almost completed and you can clearly see the shadow as well as the shine over here. There is the shiny fabric look is coming out very well and the same technique we have to repeat in the right panel. Remember not to do the base coat in the shine area. Add more and more of folds near the shine area as well as the stitch area and add the black touch over that and this that will be done so we will repeat the same technique over there and the same way we are completing our second panel of our jacket so once it will be done move towards the sleeve area and then we will move towards our zipper area zipper and elastic you can see in the downward part of our collar there is an elastic area and in the middle there is zipper area so the technique will be quite different for the elastic i'll use embossing technique which is done by blank refill pen you have to have a sharp object with yourself like you can have compass or safety pin or any pen without having refill in it like blank refill in it so with that we will do the embossing for embossing that is very easy what we have to do is we just have to apply the object anywhere uh, like if it is a safety pin or is a compass or is a blank refill pen so we wherever we will apply the strokes with that object and then we will apply the dry color over it a texture will come out so what we are going to do 
is let's see let's watch the entire video this leaves are done so we will do embossing so this is a blank refill pen you can see it is totally blank and I am applying it in a zigzag form over the collar so here I am putting some strokes zigzag strokes and once we will apply the dry color then the strokes will come out well so let's see the darker you will apply the well it will come out so it depends on your stroke right now i've done the base coat and now i'll make it quite dark with the darker shade of blue so i'm making it dark and you can see some strokes are coming well over it so this is how what we did to show the elastic area now the elastic is done the next step is to do the zipper area so first of all see if there is any double stitch in any area so here where we are going to do the zipper there are double stitch so wherever there is double stitch you can add two lines with the blank refill and then apply color so for zipper I'm giving this line strokes to show my zipper well with black refill pen and giving some double strokes over the zipper because there is stitch over there so you can see the line says came out and then applying this effect over it this is the texture of zipper that we are making so zipper colors also varies according to different styles so it's up to you it can be blue also or gray so whatever color you want to give you can add that one making the loop of the zipper and again remember to show all the lines and detailings wherever the jacket is having you have to give proper detailing to it to make the effect real and last but not the least I'll add outlines to it I will just detail it out with a micro tip pen of the same color like if the jacket is blue I'm adding detailing with the blue color only to show my stitch area to show my folds well so wherever there is detailing I'm I will detail that out with this pen I'm showing my double stitch well with this and also the folds do it in each part now as the jacket is done we have to move towards our hair and as well as the t-shirt inside the jacket so for hair you can watch out my video for hair tutorial in my channel visit my channel and watch out the hair tutorial video you will love that definitely each and every step is told and explained so watch that out for better understanding and do the color of shirt of any color whatever you want and at last outline to finish it out so you can see the effects are coming well jacket fabric effect is coming very well the shiny shadow effect are very effective here so this is what we need to be careful while doing the puffer jacket that our folds are showing well as well as our shadow is depicting well if the shadow will come nicer then only our shine will reflect so thank you so this much is for watching and if you do. like the video then do subscribe to my channel hit the like button and also the bell icon so that for my every new video you guys will be notified stay tuned namaste